This month's tooltip will cover auto applique. Select the auto applique tool and click around the desired object. This tool will automatically create all of the applique pieces for you. Enter, enter, and enter until you see your shape. You can always use the reshaped object tool and make changes to the shape that you've created and you'll hit enter on the keyboard to see those changes take effect. You'll notice in the color film that the auto applique tool automatically creates the placement line, the cutting line, the tack down stitching, and a cover stitch of your choice, either satin or blanket. You can see each one of these layered here in the diagram. If we take a look in object properties and see the changes that we can make to these stitches, you'll notice that we can choose fabric to go into our applique from any of the fabrics available or we can scan in our own. We can select between satin and blanket stitching for the cover stitch. We can change the width and the spacing of these stitches and I can change the offset. So if I'm trimming my applique and I leave some fabric to the outside of my design, all I need to do is adjust that offset and apply to accommodate any excess fabric left from trimming around the design. I can select satin stitching. I can turn my tack down placement and cutting lines on and off. I can adjust the size and spacing of my tack down as well as the size and spacing of my satin stitch. If I would like a less dense satin stitch, I can go in and change that and click apply and see the changes in my design. It's that quick and easy to create fun applique objects using the auto applique tool.